As Jason Aldean continues to sell out stadiums across the nation on his night train tour, there's one particular stop that made history, Fenway Ballpark. Aldean is the first country act to rock the stage at the historic landmark and now the current record holder for the ticket sales for both one and two night shows. Selling over 70,000 tickets in less than an hour for both shows, Aldean stole the attendance record from both Paul McCartney and the Dave Matthews Band. In response to the huge news, Jason told Headline Country, quote, I heard we also set a new all-time record for beer sales. They drank Boston dry. It was wild. To see where you can catch Jason on the night train tour this summer, hit up headlinecountry.net. While Jason has been on the road singing about Joe Diffie, the real Joe Diffie has been busy in the studio. The 90s sensation is back with his response to Aldine's 1994 call for the real Joe Diffie to please stand up. I stood up, baby. <laughs> it's just fun, you know, we're, uh... It's kind of been a whirlwind, uh, but since the, uh, you know Jason Aldean had 1994, I just like I've had a little resurgence in my career, so it's been pretty cool. With that girl riding in a shotgun, sun kissed by the Dixie hot sun. Diffie's newest single, collaborating with the Jaw Jaw Boys, Girl Riding Shotgun, is a song that's slightly out of Diffie's comfort zone. The Jaw Jaw Boys are a hip hop group, you know. She's the girl of my dreams. She gives me everything. Wearing short shorts or some tight blue jeans. It is kind of unusual, you know, but but uh, I just had fun doing it. I'm always open to new ideas, and, and, and uh, it was just fun for me to see everybody get so excited about the song. I'll be all up on the radio dashboard light, shining on my video. As we were writing, and uh, we, we came up with a line about the radio, and I was like, you know, we ought to, we ought to say Jason all his name in there somewhere, you know, since he, since he mentioned mine so many times in that song. So uh, that's, that's where that came from. Check out the entire clip for Girl Riding Shotgun right here on GAC. Well, the boys of Florida Georgia Line have been making the rounds as part of Luke Bryan's Dirt Road Diaries Tour all summer long. But come this fall, the twosome will toast to the good times with their very own headlining tour. The Here's to the Good Times Tour will kick off October 3rd in Brookings, South Dakota and run through December, hitting 32 cities along the way. Special guest Colt Ford will also join the lineup, while newcomers Tyler Farr and Dallas Smith will each play on select dates. Tickets are on sale now. The, the members of Little Big Town have something new to add to their mantles. The reigning ACM and CMA Vocal Group of the Year's latest album, Tornado, has just been certified platinum for sales of over one million copies. Released last September, the project earned the band their very first number one with Pontoon, which was quickly followed by their second chart topper, Tornado. Catch them out on the road as part of Keith Urban's Light the Fuse Tour, which kicked off earlier this month. And I'm coming after you. The countdown continues as Chris Young fans eagerly await the singer's forthcoming album, AM, to hit stores September 17th, co-writing six of the project's 11 songs, including his hot new single, Aw oh, Nah, and the album's title track. Chris debuted the album's official artwork and track listing earlier this week, telling Headline Country, quote, There's a lot of fun on this album, and that's why I wanted to call the album AM. Like the song says, the whole world's asleep, but we're wide awake in the AM. <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus is getting back to his country roots and showing it off on the big screen with a leading role in the upcoming movie that was filmed in some of Music City's most famous hotspots. Oh, it's so great to be here in Nashville. Well, the movie's called Like a Country Song. It's a, a great script, a uh, story of redemption. I play the dad going through some pretty tough times and kind of lost my faith. And uh, it's about uh, never giving up and, and getting back on your feet. The theme song, like a country song, it's a great country song with a great lyric. This story, this song, it's a chance to bring, um, you know, that passion and realism, you know, to the art. Billy Ray has found himself doing many things aside from country music in the past years, including work on the small screen, as well as a role in the Broadway musical, Chicago. I took the Broadway role to go get a good heavy dose of the theater. I'd never had that type of training or background and wanted to learn. And, uh, 
When I read this script, I thought this is a chance to see if I learned anything or not. Billy Ray's big screen debut is slated to be released later this year. Cut, that was a keeper! Cut it. <laughs>